How's it going, everybody? This is ISA Shell Starkey here with uh, my teammate, Orville Redenbacher. Orville, can you hear me loud and clear? Yep. Okay. Uh, this clip is a uh, glitch trial that we are showing uh, Activision and Treyarch that you have a serious flaw with your game. And uh, the representative from Activision, who I spoke to, had agreed for me to make this video clip. So I'd like to make this very clear. I'm not here to boost, glitch, to cheat in any way. This is to help make progress in the game to make it a lot more playable. And hopefully this action will come to play. So what we're going to show you here is the glitch that has been a key problem recently in the last couple days. Uh, or weeks, I should say. Uh, we will show you here uh, in the search and destroy lobby. Basically, that this uh, glitch happens only in a beginning of a round issue. Now, what happens here is basically when you are in a player card or main menu option, that the glitch will overtake you and it will make you incapable of moving or playing for the rest of the game or round, basically, or more like the game, not so much the round. And uh, I'll just choose any class here. I'll just choose one of my regular classes here. So, Orville, I need you to come up here into the middle, meet me halfway through, and I will show the public here why this is happening. So, there is my teammate Orville. So, what happens here is that uh, when you go to select a player card, as you can see here, when I'm scrolling up and down, I'm selecting the player card. Now, when you're in this player card, this is where the glitch will happen when the round will end. But there's also two ways to, to do this, too. First, I will go into the player card area. Arvo, I need you to kill me, and let me know when the next round starts, please. Can you read me? Yep. Okay. Did you kill me? Yeah. Okay. The round is yeah, the round has started. And here is the glitch that I was referring to you. Now this happens in two ways. The player card and the main menu. The first I'm showing you is the main menu player card. Basically what it means is that I have no control or nothing. As you see here, I have my Xbox controller button. Nothing works here. I can't even press, you know, back button, start button. I can press the Xbox button, get to the main menu, as you can see there. But when I get there, I have no access, no movement of any sort. So what I will do is end this game mode, start another game mode from start fresh again, and I will show you from the other side. Okay, now we are back into the uh, lobby again. And here I am back on Hijack Search and Destroy. Now, uh, I want to make something perfectly clear. It does not have to be on Hardcore or Core. It can be on any game mode for this glitch to start. The glitch basically arrives on any game mode that the round will start with uh, more more or less uh, search and destroy, capture the flag, and possibly demolition, domination, but I have not tested it on domination dem or demolition. I've only done it on hardcore game modes, but we did do it earlier on a core hijacked uh, search and destroy, and it did apply. So what we're going to do here again is uh, try it from the other player card that I've been showing you here. So we're going to start up this game. Orvo, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Okay, this time I will choose a different weapon here. I will choose the Peacekeeper. As we know, that there's been a little bit of a glitch with the Peacekeeper, where the Peacekeeper has disappeared from random times. But that's not something I can activate or show anyone here. So, okay. I will meet you in the middle here at the ship. Okay, there's Oroville. So let's say I'm here, 
um, just mind my business or something like that, and I want to uh, check his player card. So I will go back and choose his player card. Now I'm in the player card option. Now Orville, I need you to kill me and the round. As you can see, you can see a little bit of a play action in the background. Now what this should do is activate the game uh, with the glitch, uh, basically when the round starts here. So I'm just going to stay here in the player card menu and see what happens. As you see there, it overtook, and the glitch had activated into the game, which makes me incapable of moving yet again. As you see here, when I show you, I can't move nothing. I'm pressing the thing. All the buttons do nothing. But when I press the Xbox middle button, I have only access to that. So your options are either to sign out or dashboard. There's no way of getting around this glitch whatsoever. It's a permanent glitch. As you can see here, he's up here in front of me. He could shoot me at any time. It's like a freeze that basically screws you for the rest of the game. So any deaths or losses you occur while in this glitch will play into your stats. I've checked into my stats and it has basically caused me the deaths of uh, 20 times from this glitch. So the only way to do anything about it is either sign out or dashboard, which I will do here. As you see, I signed out here. I will sign back in. And the music came back on, which is weird, even though it was turned off. The music should not be uh, on at all. Weird. Music came on when I was signed out, but when I'm signed in, it turned back up because I know I turned the volume off here. Let me double check. I did. Yeah, music volume and master volume are both at nothing. Okay. So that's basically the glitch. I wanted to show uh, Activision and Treyarch to basically get this problem resolved here. I'd like to thank uh, my teammate Orville Rembacher for your help. Uh, and I hope that this problem will be resolved. And uh, Activision, here is your proof that uh, glitches do still exist in this game. And uh, you guys need to work with Treyarch to get these problems fixed. So I thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.